What's up guys, Huso7 here, and today I'm talking about the Iron Banner, which is a new limited time event that's available right now. You can see when you first log in, it says the Iron Banner calls guardians to prove themselves in the Crucible. If you click on the set destination, you'll notice that in the top left corner, kind of by where your other things are, you've got the Iron Banner now, which is a competitive multiplayer playlist. You see it's over here by where your, you know, daily story and the nightfall and stuff is. And if you come over to the Crucible, you'll see that down below, you got the limited time access to the Iron Banner competitive multiplayer playlist. Now, if you want to get Get started with the Iron Banner, what you need to do is head over to the tower, and we're going to want to talk with the uh, Iron Banner representative. His name is Lord Saladin. He's up here in this top area, kind of by where the Queen's uh, emissary was, but he's going to be over here to the right. And when we talk with him, uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the gear that he's got available first. You're brave to come here, Guardian. So you can see that he's got some shaders here, and he's got some epic emblems. Um, again, the armor that I'm going to show off is a Titan, since that's the class I play, but so you can see he's got a class item, which is a Titan mark here, and it looks pretty cool. I kind of dig the whole wolf, uh, you know, on the tree. It's kind of got a cool look to it. Um, and he's also got some gloves and a chess piece available. And these are um, epic uh, gauntlets, and I think that they're pretty cool aesthetically, just in, again with the wolves and how they look. But more importantly, what's really cool about them is that they only cost 10 crucible marks. And he's also got this Jolder's hammer gun. Um, and all of these um, items he has, again, it takes a crucible rank 3, but they only cost 10 marks. So if you're able to level up to uh, the, excuse me, not crucible, but to the iron banner rank 3, you can get some pretty cool weapons and some pretty cool armor for very cheap. Typically these things would cost about 150 I think for the weapon and I think it's like 65 for the uh, armor but here you're able to get it for 30 crucible marks for all three pieces. So that's going to be a huge upgrade if that's uh, if that's where you're at and you're needing these weapons. Now, in order to actually gain reputation, you can see I have rank zero right now. It only requires a hundred to get the first rank, so you can get it pretty quick. But what we're going to want to do is head over to the bounty tracker and pick up some uh, Iron Banner specific uh, bounties. You can see that they got him right here. He's got a new section, um, and we can actually pick up these bounties just like we would um, other ones, and that will uh, earn our reputation. You can see they've got various rewards. Some are 100, some are 50, etc. But once we pick these up and accomplish them, we'll actually earn reputation specifically towards that Iron Banner vendor. Um, now, all you have to do once you have these bounties is log into that playlist, start killing people, and go crazy. Now, one note about the Iron Banner is that here your weapon damage and armor um, is not like uh, flattened like the way it is in regular PvP. It's actually going to be um, you're actually going to be competing against other players, and here your gear uh, matters and your level advantages will matter. So. If you get against a team of people with low levels, you may do very well. You can see here in the scoreboard that my team is doing uh, very well. And so you uh, you want to make sure that you've got pretty good gear if you're going to go ahead and attempt to play in the Iron Banner. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is you can see that when we get our win here, we get 25 rep. And you'll see that that 25 rep fills up just about a quarter of the screen. Um, of the ring. Now the reason why is because again it only requires 100 rep to get to like rank 1 so you can actually get that very quickly. Um, the other ranks are going to take more but again if you you know commit to playing the Iron Banner you get rep for winning as well as you get rep for completing the bounty. So if you're doing a good job, you've got a team together um, you should be able to grind out that rank 3 in no time and get those pieces. Another quick uh, thing is that you do get uh, rewards from this. You can see I don't get any rewards here, but you do get rewards just like you do from playing the Crucible here. Um, and also, again, remember to keep in mind that your, um, you know, your damage uh, is not flattened. So you want to make sure that you're bringing in the best weapons that you can, and you want to make sure that you're coming in with the best armor and the highest level that you can. You can see here that this was a pretty unbalanced game. You can see that my team did exceptionally well because I was running with a team of people that are in some raid gear and have some uh, pretty exceptional weapons, and some of these other teams were lower levels and were coming in with not very good weapons, and so when they were hitting us, they were not dealing maximum damage to us. So if you want to attempt that Iron Banner, make sure you're going in there with high quality weapons and armor. So there you have it. Hope you guys uh, are enjoying the Iron Banner. It's going to be around for, I think, the uh, a week or, or a couple weeks in, in October. So enjoy, get those ranks up, and be sure to pick up that armor and that weapon if you're able to grind out rank 3. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for all of my Destiny content that's coming out. I'll give you access to all of the limited time events as well as I'm working on a raid guide right now if you're thinking about getting in there to do the Vault of Glass. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.